Okay, guys, sorry. I wanted to do it all on the bandit cam, but it didn't work because I didn't pay for it and it only let me download or record like 10 minutes of it. So, anyway, we're back on this zero tier setup. And like I said, just download it, create an account. Um, once you have all that, it's gonna just put you through this setup right here. Um, that should be the icon for it. Once you download it though, I noticed that it was kind of weird to try to find like where it downloaded to, but I guess just go to your downloads, um, and this downloads, and then just type in zero tier. And I don't know why it's not coming up there, but it should just mess around with it. You guys are probably smarter than I am with that. Um, that's the only problem I had, but I eventually found it and. After that, you're gonna go to you're gonna go into joining um this network. So this zero tier should be in the bottom right corner for um, Windows users. Go to this, right click, um, join network, and then just make sure you have this uh this code right here and paste it into here and check all of these off. I'll put this code in the description so you guys have it and then just click join. Um, once you're done with that. Okay, and then once you join the network and have all these checked off, then um, you successfully join the network. Um, and then after that, you can go to back to what you were at with the zero tier, right click. Um, Click show networks and it'll bring you this box right here. Um, it has this is where you're gonna get your IP code or ID code, host ID code, whatever it's called. IB or I, bleh, I can't even, whatever you know what I mean. The code right here is what you're gonna need to play with someone else and put into your host ID so you guys are on the same server. And I'll show you how to do that in a second. So just copy and paste this number, keep it somewhere so you have it. Um, you don't need to put this slash 16, so just only these numbers right here. And then after that, you... Okay, so after that, you're going to have to go into your Sims folder again, which is in your file explorer right here. Um, go to Documents. Electronic Arts, The Sims 4, um, go to Mods, go to The Sims 4 Multiplayer Alpha 1 Mod, go to Scripts, um, The Sims 4 Multiplayer again, and then these two folders right here are what you're going to have to worry about. Every time that you are entering a new host ID number, you're going to have to like to play with someone else. Um, you're going to have to go in here and change the settings. So we can go ahead and do the configuring configs one first. So just go in configs. Um, go to server config, but don't click, don't left click it, right click it and go to open. Um, but you're going to have to go to open with notepad, only in notepad. Don't go anywhere else. Then you're going to get this window right here and right where these numbers are right here, you're going to paste or type in whatever because it didn't let me paste so I just typed it in um this number right here and that's your your ID like see how it, this is just a a one that was put in there by default this is gonna be where you can connect to someone and you give this to your clients only the host needs to have this number and then you give it to the client to put in and it'll just you don't put in the client's number. Sorry if that sounds confusing, but you can message me if you get confused or lost. So this is how you find that out. Um, the port is always going to be 9993 for anyone using zero tier. So that's fine. So then when you're done with that, make sure you save. Go to file, save. X out. Um, then you're going to go back and go to core. Um, go to multiplayer server right here. Don't left click it, right click it, and do the exact same thing you did 
in the other one open with notepad mine goes right away because i have it set up like that um you're gonna go down to right here where it's this um and paste that number in here again and that's it after that click file save and then exit out and um from there okay so then the last thing you're going to want to do to get this working is only the client is going to have to do this part if you're the host then don't do this you can still do it and create it but whenever you are going to play as the host then you're going to need to take this file right here that you create out and just drag it to your desktop like i have right here so um yeah to do that you're just going to be in the same spot where um you have your multiplayer server which is in the core folder and once you're in there all you have to do to get this client folder right here is just right click um go to new and create a text document and once it's a text document then it's going to come up as um something else i forgot what it's called but you're going to just click it and go to rename and rename it as client and somehow the computer just knows that it's going to be the client and it'll work out fine if you do everything correctly so there's that and that's the last step oh whoops that's the last step that you're going to need to do for that and just be careful when you start up the game because this is this is the most important part is once you have everything done and over with downloaded correctly in the right folders and all that then you're going to try to launch the game but the host needs to launch the game first to the main menu only that's the main menu where you can select um what i had up before with the options and where you can select new game or load game or all that um oh i had actually forgotten about the save let me get that set up real fast okay before you launch the game sorry i forgot to mention that you had to um get the same file from the host so the host has to go in and launch their sims 4 game and just create a family a random family and just make sure you have at least two people in the household to control and then they need to just save the game and once they're done with that exit the game um go back to your sims 4 folders and just go to saves which is um just documents electronic arts the sims 4 um and saves and then you're gonna this is from the discord i don't want to like click this right now because i don't want to show everyone's information so this is um the discord chat and i had my friend send me the save file right here which is gonna pop up right right here and you just download it it goes into google um chrome right click it again to get it in show and folder and just drag it into this folder into the saves like you did previously um once you have that set up then you can go ahead and x this all out um um whoops <laughs> my bad guess that didn't work out but whatever once you have that all set up then go to launching the game which is the host needs to load the game to the main menu first which is like i said that new game load game then once they're there they can contact um their friends on discord or whatever you guys are using and tell them uh to load up to the main menu once you load up they you both load up to the main menu then the host loads the lot and that's directly the house so whatever you guys are playing and then once they're there they let the client know and then the client loads the lot so um once that happens then i wish i could show you but my friend had locked off right now so um once you get into the game it's gonna not give you like the options to play if you're the client like it's not going to show all the bars at the bottom that it usually does for interaction so you're gonna have to have the host type in this cheat right here and that should enable everything enabling you to play 
So if you get stuck on the loading screen for a really, really long time, that just means that something went wrong in your configuration and I would just mess with it or uninstall, reinstall, try to figure out what is going wrong. You can comment down below as well and I will try my best to get back to you guys and help you out. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope it was um, a little bit more descriptive than what everyone else is doing. I'm sorry about my my video. Um, uh, whatever. <laughs> I can't do videos very well, but I hope this helped. And I will post this whole document um, explaining what to do in the description. So yeah, thank you guys.